shame on you for dragging a baby on the social media space. For me, that baby doesn't look like any other person but the father. Look at that baby very well. Look at his brow. Go and look at his father's brow. You will see that he looks exactly like his father. Okay, hello guys. Really, uh, this picture, I've seen it flying on the social media space since how many days now. I really wanted to ignore it, but on a second thought, I decided to just talk about it. It's disheartening that somebody will stay at the comfort of their home or their house or anywhere and see a little boy's picture. And instead of commending the, the handsomeness of this boy, how handsome this boy is, what you could do was just to stay and tell the whole world that you think he looks like another person, another man. Invariably, what are you saying? And from little hearsays I'm, I'm gathering on the social media space, some people are saying that that thing looks like a private account. The person didn't use their real account. This is very bad. In fact, I want to say shame on you. Shame on you for dragging a baby on the social media space. Uh, Messi didn't do anything wrong, girl. The only thing she did wrong was just to show her baby's picture on the social media space. That was what gave you the gods, the, the temerity to write rubbish. Tomorrow, when they sue you people now, you go about begging, asking for second chance. But what have you done? A baby that needs protection? You came on the social media space to talk rubbish. A family that just started up, what do you want to do there? You want to break it up with all this nonsense? For me, that baby doesn't look like any other person but the father. Look at that baby very well. Look at his brow. Go and look at his father's brow. You will see that he looks exactly like his father. This man, people are calling his name. I don't want to call the name. I don't want to have dragged him too much. He does have any brow. People coincidentally look like themselves. Even people that are not related. I have somebody that looks exactly like myself. Okay, tomorrow you tell me that. <laughs> Take your time on the social media space. Some people are not smiling, no. That thing you think you're looking for in social media space, that money. Don't make a case for yourself that you look for money you will not find. Let me read what this man says. Should I even read? No, no, I, I don't want to read this thing. What is his name? Okoron Kwe Jike. Nah. If you're a guy, if you're a lady, be guided. Be guided. Some days, you will get up and go to church and be praying to God. God, give me this. God, bless me. Find out why you are not getting the blessings you want. Find out who you are offending. If you can just wake up and in the spirit of content creating, in the spirit of you are looking for Facebook, dot, let me know if you're saying it. You go and start offending an innocent child and their parents, that lovely woman and her home. Hey, <laughs> be careful, be careful. For all upcoming content creators like myself and the bigger content creators, Please, don't make content that will break a home. Don't make content that will insinuate things that you don't have facts about. I rest my case.